Have you ever felt like nobody, like a tiny speck of air? And everyone's around you and you're just not there. It's just kind of moving. You know, it's kind of like everything stands still. Because days just keep going and going by, you know, like that. It's going to click, you know, when you're 40. You got to do something with this life, dude. You just keep standing here. It's really important to ground myself every day and make sure that I'm finding the positives and being grateful because it can spin out quick. You always got to be progressing. You always got to be learning. Otherwise, that's when life becomes stagnant. Make a, make a clap to this. So I called in sick to work on a Saturday. All the boys called Elliot Hoover, Mark Levrog, and Wilson was out like, call, let's come up to Wilson's and have a sesh. So on a Saturday, I called in sick, came up here, hitting all the jumps, getting ready to flip that thing, feeling good and crazy. And I was following Sean on this 20 inch bike that he borrowed from the garage. Didn't even have the right air pressure. You know, Sean, slow and high, smooth BMX rider. I was going slow and high, but I overshot the second one, hit the flat, and I couldn't grab my brakes, and off the second shot, probably like 15, so feet in the air, grabbed the hill like it was like, hands down, ambulance, day's over. Ah! Oh, I broke my leg. I got into mountain biking, started racing a lot of downhill. It wasn't until I moved out to Colorado, I started dirt jumping and riding places like this, and started creating my own on places and um, becoming the trail boss. I guess you get that after 15, 20 years of digging. I don't even think about it anymore. I progressed actually a lot. I'm a much better rider now. I feel better on the bike than I did before I lost my leg. As long as we're breathing, you know, we should be smiling because that's what life's about. Smiles and quite a bit of cries, but those cries make us stronger, it's crazy because I've had so, so many sleepless nights in fear. I'm like, I'm just totally blocking it out. I ain't even thinking about it. I ain't gonna do it. I'm just glad I'm out here 10 years later riding this jump. pretty special because Jared conquered his fears and it's just so inspiring to be able to ride with him and very thankful just to ride bikes and be out here with my friends and capturing the story. of the perseverance ship my heart went out to the dude like can you imagine the like things that are going through your mind at that point when someone like a good friend has a wreck in your yard from that point on i was just like word of mouth on yeah hey you got your hat dude, that's a bitch <laughs> 
Hey, I'm 27, dog. I ain't that young. What housing? Exactly, nothing broke, dog. I even did it with no fuel. Wild boy. I'm not stupid, stupid. I just sound stupid because I'm from the south. Definitely had days where I cried, probably more than I should, and maybe over stupid things. But I always come back to this idea that like I'm still here, I can still do the things that I love, and that brings me kind of back to this point of positivity where it's still living, just different. My mindset, the day that I hit the drop and was injured. Um, I'd say it was definitely wrong. This particular drop was gonna be the next one, slightly bigger. I was having a really good day on my bike with my friends. And that was kind of a whole recipe for disaster. I mean, last run, having a good day, and this overwhelming feeling that I need to be better than I am. It kind of made for a not so great result. I think my accident really showed me that I don't need to be competitive with myself. I don't need to prove that I'm good at riding. I don't need to do this next big thing to be confident as a rider. I'm just out there having fun with my friends. And that's what it's really all about. Me being on a bike again, like I didn't ever, ever imagine that I'd be back on two wheels and here I am, you know, I couldn't be in a more beautiful spot right now and I'm sitting at the bottom of something that put me in a wheelchair. Um, and it's beautiful, like just hearing the sounds, being in it, it's kind of just an escape. What are you guys, what are you guys partying on tonight? Salsa. And claw. Dan? What's up? Twice in two, twice in one day. I know, long time I've seen. It's pretty cool. Wow. My name's uh, Dan Soller. Most people call me the Danimal. Rock and roll. Look <laughs> 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 that ramp is like. <laughs> Been a bike rider my whole life. Kind of turned it into into my life the last few years. Always riding, having fun. Still riding, having fun. Shit happens. Can't stop me. I guess. Kind of long story short, had a freak accident 
last October, riding uh, downhill at Crested Butte. A tree fell on a run that we'd already ridden in between runs, so it was clear. And uh, came through next time, and a blind spot of the landing of a jump, there was a tree, and didn't see it till I'm hitting it. And yeah, broke my back, kind of shook my world up, but able to keep doing what I love. Not gonna stop. Uh, life's too short. My people, it's time to move out, show them what we do now They say that work seems so hard to follow I am not a role model, only your teacher Teach them when the school's out Preach them and preach them to each his own Mono, we mono Fly away, fly away Fly away with me It's time to fly away Fly away We'll flood life forever And ever Unfortunately, there's just gonna be more and more injuries, people getting injured, and try to do my best like the like those before me. Not just help inspire, but help pave the road, help make things more adaptive friendly, and make things more able-bodied friendly. I mean, it's a grand scheme. We all just make it make a better planet than when we <laughs> make it a better planet when we leave than when we entered. And the people that have been hurt before me and have been pushing pushing the sports, that's who I who I tip my hat off to. Because without 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 other disabled people paving the way, I don't know what I'd be doing. Probably trying to ride trails in a wheelchair or something. <laughs> times it might die down. Yahweh fan the flame, let it grow. Hence we fly away, fly away. Fly away with me, it's time to fly away. Look at, look at. Fly away. His blood set me free, it's time to fly away. Fly away. Pre-injury life, you know, we always have life goals and uh, they've just changed a little bit. But I definitely have long-term, short-term goals, some probably unrealistic, but if you don't set unrealistic goals, you're not gonna push yourself to see how far you can go. You know, like I said, I wanna be able to walk again, pedal a regular bike, simple thing. Fly away with me, it's time to fly away, fly away. Never stop exploring. I mean, life's weird. We all know that. I think when you have plans and everything figured out, that's when it all goes and changes. What are you doing? Tell me, tell me what that was again. Enduro! What? I'm about to try the double back. Off the road for $10. Bam! Hour and 45 minutes for the damn ambulance to get here. So of course I was down here having a beer. They brought me the bong down. I needed my freaking some kind of pain meds with a freaking folded leg. And uh, the ambulance got here and didn't have any morphine on their truck. And they were looking at me like I'm all funny. Like, why have you been drinking? I'm like, because I've been laying on the grass here waiting for you guys. Don't forget. I crap. Don't forget your lines. Now, set. Our fellowship is alive. Practice again. <sighs> Gotta get my lines down. I crashed. Now, I set. <laughs> How goes it? Amazing. Strawberry. Good to see you guys. Yes. Ride the dog. Ride the dog. Do something stupid, what you doing? Don't fall, don't fall down the hole. Hey, that was morning. Morning, dog. I'm just feeling it out. Told you, man, you got to get beat. I know, I got you. Hold back.